Hello, my name is Dan Gregory, and I'm a security architect at Creative Breakthroughs. This short presentation will discuss the topic of governance, risk, and compliance, or GRC as it's more commonly referred to. Organizations that are serious about lowering their enterprise-wide level of IT risk have either developed or adopted a GRC program. You might already be asking, isn't this just a large company thing? Don't these things cost a lot of money? If I'm not in a highly regulated industry, does this even apply to me? These are the types of questions this presentation is designed to address. So what is GRC? It's true that larger organizations tend to be more familiar with the term GRC. Why is this? It's because the process of governance, risk, and compliance are more often associated with larger and more highly regulated industries. This is unfortunate in that GRC programs, when properly implemented, can benefit organizations of all sizes and industry types. It's the last sentence in this definition that typically prevents most organizations from developing and implementing a GRC program of their own. I can tell you that this is a myth. The rest of the short video will focus on breaking down this myth. Once you understand the various components of GRC and how they can provide significant advancements in your organization's ability to manage IT risk while adhering to internal and external requirements, you will realize its benefits regardless of your organization's size, complexity, and industry or budget. Let's start by examining a typical conversation within an organization that's just about to start their GRC journey. We can imagine a CIO standing in front of his executive team establishing the need for a GRC program and that it should support the IT principles and business objectives of the organization. Once this is established, other key members of the organization share their requirements. The group might slowly begin to realize there is a larger question that needs to be answered, and it is, how do we accommodate everyone's requirements and how will a GRC program help us get there? Let's start by assigning short, easy to understand definitions to each of the components of GRC. GRC provides the oversight and visibility organizations need to measure the effectiveness of an IT risk and compliance program. In other words, governance literally governs your IT risk management and compliance program and its intended outcome. It is comprised of written policies, procedures, workflows, as well as documented roles and responsibilities. Think of it as your documented roadmap. Like a roadmap, it tells you where to go. It also measures the distance you need to travel to get to a certain point. Risk management is an organization's ability to evaluate business, operational, and regulatory risk and monitor mitigation efforts in a structured manner. Think of risk management as the part of GRC that actually does all the actual work. It is comprised of an automated IT solution, centralized databases designed to capture all the various levels of risk, etc. It will also provide the actual source of information needed to track your organization's path towards a set of established risk management goals. To continue the roadmap analogy, you can think of it as a vehicle that you will create for your journey. Like a vehicle, it moves the process along by following the path established by the map or your governance program. As is the case with most journeys, you will need to take detours from time to time. The risk management vehicle allows you to navigate around or mitigate these detours. Finally, there's compliance. Compliance ensures your organization has the processes and internal controls needed to meet the requirements imposed by regulators, mandates, or internal policies. In the roadmap analogy, you can think of it as the traffic laws that one must obey. Like laws, compliance provides the guidelines and instructions that we need to observe. Some of these laws apply locally, such as those on side roads, while others are created and monitored by larger external organizations, such as the interstates and toll roads. Important to note is the fact that compliance does not dictate how we must get to our final destination. This is still left up to your organization. Also, we may choose to take a road less traveled in order to achieve an IT risk management goal. This is still the decision of the organization and is acceptable in the process as long as it is documented as such in the governance program or your roadmap. Now that we've shared a working knowledge of the components of GRC, let's examine some of the top challenges that impact the GRC program. 
Some of the challenges that you may actually be faced with are the ability to enhance executive management oversight. In other words, how do we enhance that visibility and provide assurance to the executives? Make sure that that established GRC program is effective in monitoring IT risk management. The next one is achieving strategic and operational objectives. So what we're trying to say there is, how do we ensure IT risk management functions are effective and that the GRC program is actually supporting the strategic and operational objectives? Next is the improvement of risk management functions and processes. In other words, how do we integrate separate components of IT risk management and enhance the overall efficiency of the GRC program itself? Finally, improving business level performance. What we're saying there is, how will a GRC program help the organization achieve a higher level of operational performance? As you might imagine, there are many solutions out there designed to automate the principles of a GRC program. It's important to remember a few things here. GRC is not just one solution. It's an integrated and coordinated ecosystem of resources, processes, and technologies. While this list may look daunting, it's important to remember that not all of these are required as part of every single GRC program. These are simply suggestions to help you get the process started when considering the development or enhancement of your own GRC program. For organizations looking to develop a GRC program from scratch or to improve an existing program, the first question can often be, where do I start? CBI has developed a proven and effective methodology designed to aid organizations in answering that very question. This process is a logical flow designed to guide the development and or enhancement for our clients' GRC programs. It starts by identifying your unique business drivers and ends with a sustainable, cost-effective GRC program. Of course, the journey is never actually finished. GRC is an ongoing, self-improving process. We hope you found today's short video to be helpful, and we look forward to hearing from you and helping your organization implement and develop its IT GRC program. For more helpful videos like this, please visit the resources section of the CBI website. There you will find a calendar of events and other recorded webinars and videos. Thanks and have a great day.